Hello everyone, this is Miss Fatma and since the author of this month is Ray Bradbury, this video will be a glance into his world. Uh, we talk about a little bit about his life and some of his works that we will be closely looking at in class. So let's begin. So Ray Bradbury, a literary visionary. So a brief overview of his life. He was born in August 22nd, 1920 in Illinois, USA. He died June 5th, 2012 in Los Angeles, California. Uh, some of his notable works are Fahrenheit 451, The Martian Chronicles, Something Wicked This Way Comes, uh, the influences, uh, uh, what influenced work and his style, he was inspired by science fiction, fantasy, and societal concerns. He's a master storyteller, known for his own vivid imagination and poetic prose. Uh, now we're going to have a short, just uh, a glance at one of his works, which is The Pedestrian. Uh, this story, short story, was published in 1951, and it is set in a dystopian future where working is wa walking is an uncommon activity. Plot summary: It follows Mr. Leonard Mayard on a solitary nighttime walk. Themes is conformity, isolation, and the dehumanization effects of technology. The key elements of the story is the exploration of societal norms and symbolism of walking in a technology-dominated society. The Flying Machine is another short story and it was published in 1953. It's set in ancient China during the Han Dynasty and it focuses on an inventor who creates a flying machine. Uh, main themes uh, are innovation, fear of the unknown, and the clash between tradition and progress. Key elements of the story, ele Emperor's reaction to the flying machine and reflection on the consequences of challenging societal norms. Uh, the last story we'll be looking at is All Summer in a Day and uh, this was published in 1954. A setting is a rainy Venus, the planet where the sun appears for only a few hours every seven years. And this focuses on Margot, a girl from Earth and the themes here are jealousy, isolation and the impact of memory. The key elements of the story are emotional impact of sunlight and Margot's alienation and the consequences for her classmate. Uh, and thank you very much for listening. Hope this was useful.